This is about to be one of the most interesting meals I've ever eaten on a plane. It's like a delicious yoga mat. And then you use that to pick up the sauce or whatever is put on top of there. Good morning from Chicago's O'Hare Airport. Boy, do I have a video for you today. What's interesting is I'm gonna be taking business class all the way from here to Ethiopia, and then from there to the capital of Zimbabwe, Harare. So along the way, I wanna show you guys the food, the experience, what it's like to ride business class on Ethiopian Airlines. I'm gonna see what's it like, is it different? Are they gonna have Ethiopian food? I hope so. I'm about to board, I'm running late. I wish I could have checked out the lounge, but no such luck. I've just barely made it here in time. So let's move, let's see how the seat situation is because the first flight is 14 hours. It could be worse. If I'm honest, this is what I really want to eat right now. Enormous burrito. But if I eat that, I'm going to be all bloated for 14 hours. Oh, very nice. All right, so this is my little pod for the next 14 hours. I like the style of this one. Sometimes they try to do like six across here. It's just four across. The couple's pods in the middle and the single dudes on the sides. We should do a little bit of a tour. Oops. Armrest. Cubby hole. This is not working out. Over here, my computer and other Oh, this is just a comic book. Oh, they have take home bags in case you can't eat all your business class food. Here, another cubby hole. You can see I've already put my mints in there and my charger. Ah, light. This is the seat manipulator. It looks like this flips out. Aha. Down here, that's where my feet go when I attempt to lay down. Here, headphones. Here, water. Oh, it's cold. Guess what? I got a great place for that. Oh, I just discovered something. Hmm. Hmm. I was so hungry before I got on that I couldn't help but buy a $15 box of cheese and grapes. But soon, they're gonna bring a menu by. I'm very excited. We're probably gonna take off in about 20 minutes, so that means probably two meals, lots of snacks, lots of fun, lots of alcohol. I told myself I was gonna stop drinking in January. It's only January 3rd, and I'm reconsidering. It's uh, champagne. That doesn't count as drinking, right? Suddenly. I don't really like champagne that much, to be honest. It's really sugary. It gives me heartburn, but it makes me feel fancy. The world I used to know, I see it differently. You woke me from a dream, now here's reality so the lunch service is just beginning now. We took off a little bit late, which is unfortunate because I'm going to mix my next flight. In the meantime, this is kind of like an appetizer to hold people over until lunch is actually heated up and ready to go. We have um, an adult beverage here, the smallest Coca-Cola light I've ever seen. Nothing like having your first drink at 11.30 a.m. Torali. It looks like some smashed up snacks that fall off the back of a semi truck. Oh, it looks like dog treats. That is the worst thing ever. So imagine a crouton, but without flavor. Thank you. I think I will wait until lunch. I'm keep munching up. I'm hungry. I'm excited. Turbulence. <laughs> My little trick is when it's really rickety and rocking, I imagine I'm on a big crappy bus. And I'm like, wow, Los Angeles should fill these potholes. And I don't tell myself that I'm on an airplane thousands of feet above the very hard, hard earth. By the way, lunch has begun. I'll start here because this is the most boring. Here's a salad. It comes with balsamic vinaigrette on the side. I'm on a bus, I'm on a bus, I'm on a bus, I'm on a bus. I'm nervous, but luckily when I'm nervous, I like to eat. Turbulent balsamic vinegar application. All right, so they have a diced up radish. They got some lettuce, they got whatever the heck this is right over here. Crunchy. A little bit of greens, a little bit of radish. It's a salad, it's fine. Over here, the bread. They gave me two kinds. This is more of like a pretzel bread and a garlic bread. It's just bread and butter. And you guys probably know what that tastes like, but here's what it looks like on an airplane. Garlic bread, not very garlicky. I'm not so sure they seasoned that with garlic. Maybe it drove by a garlic factory. Over here, this is another salad. I've never seen this where they just give you two salads. It has turkey, some kind of a salsa. Let's check out what this is. That looks spicy, right? Do you have a reaction when you eat something spicy and your mouth just fills up with saliva? Your brain is like, uh-oh, get ready. There's something still spicy here. Oh, not bad. This is deli sliced turkey. The issue is we're taking off from Chicago. So someone just went to Quick Trip, they bought a bunch of salads and deli meat, and they put it on the menu. All right, this is some kind of a salsa. It's a cold bell pepper sauce or salsa. Tastes okay. Just kind of a pedestrian start to the meal. It's fine. My expectations weren't too high, although you always hope for something special when you're on a flight like this, a flight that costs over $6,000. Don't tell my wife. I just thought of something genius. I ordered more butter. I have bread. I have turkey. Now I have bread, butter, and then, oh, what's that? That is a legitimate sandwich. I'm a good cook. The bread is so dense and 
pretzel -y. It's like eating a pretzel turkey sandwich. I like it. I knew this was gonna be a stressful trip. I knew one way I could make it a little bit less stressful was by spending way too much money and being financially irresponsible. And then, to make up for that, I made this video. And then I recoup 15% of the price of the ticket. No problem. Thank you. She's very nice. I just asked her what is a vegetable, and she looked on the menu and it said grilled vegetable. It's too hard to be a banana. It's green on one side. It has a little bit of a corn taste. It's obviously some kind of a canned vegetable. This is the chicken. Chicken looks decent. Savory. It's soft. It has some Mediterranean spices in there. Here, this is a biryani. So we got green beans, carrots, peas. What this looks like to me is that they took Midwestern frozen vegetables and threw it in rice. Tastes like a memory of biryani. I had biryani in Bangladesh, in India, some of the best biryani in the world. And then I tried this Chicago style biryani. And I'm like, what the is going on? This counts as a lunch. It's technically 1.44 p.m. What time does it mean anything anymore? I'm gonna finish this up and then have some dessert. Right here? Dessert. Assorted cheese. Not just cheese, it's assorted. I got cheesecake made from guava. Is guava a type of cheese? I don't think it is. It's delicious. Best thing I've had so far. It has a syrupy strawberry topping. It's thick, but not too thick. It's not pure cream cheese. It's sweet. It coats your mouth with cheesy goodness. I love it. And to go with that cheese, this cheese. Crackers, probably some dried prunes, some dried apricots, cheddar, camembert, Swiss. And I don't know. I'm gonna try this out first. That's delicious. It tastes like mozzarella. Hey, everybody. I'm gonna put camembert on a cracker. Oh, I know the people around me are. This can be done, and it's allowed, and it's legal in the 48 states. Creamy, delicious camembert, almost liquidy in the middle. A bit sharp, I love it. Finally, my last idea, mixing Swiss cheese with cheesecake. You might think this is dumb, but it's not. Oh man, that's nice. And it's good for you, it's like really healthy. Perfecto, it's getting a little bit dark already outside, and then I think they're gonna call it nighttime soon. So probably in about eight hours, they're gonna wake us up, we're gonna have breakfast, and I will show you that. It is early morning somewhere. It's been about eight hours. I slept maybe half an hour. Right now, it's 10, 11 p.m. at the destination from which I came. And so now is when I'd usually go to bed, but we're arriving at our destination in a couple hours to start a brand new day. So luckily, here, I've got some Ethiopian coffee. I'm definitely gonna need some of that. Breakfast here is massive. They have bread. With the bread, you can get jelly, honey, butter, or cheese. Greek yogurt, fresh fruit. This is some kind of a strawberry milk, I think. Oh. They're bringing pancakes. I have egg benedict and pancakes. I'll do eggs benedict. Tough choice, eggs benedict or pancakes. I gotta go with eggs benedict because it has protein and also I love hollandaise sauce. Cheers. Good morning. I don't know why I treated that like a tequila shot, but that was nice. All right, so what they brought here is 100% not eggs benedict. It's a soft boiled egg with some kind of a salsa sauce, a sausage, and potatoes. That ain't no eggs benedict. I'm gonna cut this egg in half, so not exactly soft boiled. I'm good with that. On the side, I swear to God, I know it's some kind of a salad or something, but it just tastes like warm salsa. Look at this glorious dog, so thick, robust, and rotund. That's really good. That's like the best thing I've had so far. The skin, which is probably fake, actually has a little bit of a crisp. You break through the skin, it's full of porky, juicy goodness inside. I like it. No complaints here. People here are very nice and very thoughtful. Actually, the woman working here recognized me as the food guy, and I told her I really wanted to go to Ethiopia. She's from Ethiopia, but a month ago, when we planned this trip, we couldn't go because there was just too much potential violence there. There was too much instability. It's a bummer because right now, she says it's fine there, no problem. So we'll make it to Ethiopia eventually for now. I still have another flight to catch to Zimbabwe. This flight took off late, so I'm probably going to miss my next flight. But there's going to be a lot more hijinks and a lot more adventure. Stick around. Ethiopian airport right now in Addis Ababa and I'm about to miss my next flight at least in two minutes so let's see what happens I can see the gate from here let's go good morning we made it. Onward to seat 3A. Can I tell you I'm not especially pumped about going from a 13 hour flight to a six hour flight with exactly a three minute break in between. 
To be honest, I am freaking dying for exercise, to walk, to run, to lift some weights. It just feels so unnatural to just sit there for 16 hours, but we're gonna survive. Obviously, it's a different setup with this plane because it's not such a long flight, so you're not gonna get your own pod, but there's still plenty of space, and hopefully try some Ethiopian food. Mm -hmm. Here, it's morning. Back where I came from, it's night. So if I drink right now, am I an alcoholic? Just wait to myself, that was weird. I'm on my last flight right now to Harare. We have our first course here. This is exciting because I'm finally getting to try some Ethiopian food right here. I don't know what that is. It's a very sour smelling salad. It looks like some kind of a sour fermented cabbage or chili. Yeah, I think it's chilies that have been kind of pickled, but it has a lot of flavor, a lot of character. I like it. Here, our cold appetizer, shrimpies and... Wow, this is some new stuff. I have no idea what that is. It's really good. It's creamy. It looks like it's gonna be a tuna salad or a chicken salad, but when you taste it, that ain't mayonnaise. It could be some kind of fish, but I'm not sure what else is in there. If you're Ethiopian or if you work for Ethiopian Airlines, let me know. Here, giant shrimp. See, I knew the issue was not Ethiopian Airlines. I knew it was probably whoever's supplying them food in Chicago. Thank you. So that's the first course, but there's still the main course to come right after this. I've never seen a presentation like this on an airplane. That's awesome. All right, so she takes the bread and lays it out on the plate. So this is chicken piece, a sauce with beef, I think. Lamb stew. Thank you very much. Wow, that's great. This is about to be one of the most interesting meals I've ever eaten on a plane. Injera. This is something I ate in Vietnam at an Ethiopian restaurant. So the injera is like this bread here. When you look at it, the texture is like a cow stomach. It's like a delicious yoga mat. So my neighbor here is showing me how it's done. You just kind of roll it in your hand. You use the bread to pick up the sauce. Good stuff. I'm gonna try this out. I think this one is beef. Now we're talking real flavor, not Chicago style biryani. It's interesting, it has like very sharp sourness to it, savory, and then it's a little bit spicy. All right, this yellow one, I do believe they said it was chicken and peas. I can't believe how good this is. This is so thin, almost like a very textured crepe. It doesn't feel like a carb overload. Here, big piece of chicken. Mm, amazing blend of spices. Such a unique food to be eating on a plane, I love it. I'm so happy I'm going to Zimbabwe, but I cannot wait to actually make some videos in Ethiopia. I think this one is lamb. This is awesome. The food on the way here, a little bit disappointing. This here, full of flavor, great bread, great sauces, spices, it's spicy, it's savory, it's delicious. And I'm like coming up on many, many hours of no sleep. This is waking me up and making me feel good. I haven't slept for 27 hours, but we made it to Zimbabwe. They forgot all three of my bags, but we did it. Hey, that's the business class experience all the way from Chicago through Ethiopia here to Harare, Zimbabwe. We're at the capital, and eventually I'm gonna even get to take a shower and wear clean clothes, maybe tomorrow. I've met up with my man Gumbo. Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome to Zimbabwe. Thank you. I'm so excited. We have a huge production ahead of us, and I'm excited for you guys to see it. All right, that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. A oh, Peace. Welcome to the Best Ever Merch Store, where you can check out our brand new designs. Best Ever Bandanas in black, white, and red. The Please Send Nudes Hoodie. Pillow Soft Fabric with a quality custom graphic inlay. And our Street Food Around the World Graphic Tee. We're now shipping everywhere around the world. Just visit shopbesteverfood.com or click the link in the description below to get your new merch today. A peace.